Hey guys, how's it going? It's Iron Man here, and today what I have for you in this video is just as the title says, a demonstration of Stack version 3.0 alpha beta release. And before I get this started, I, I'm going to say a few things, um, like always, to give a few people a few notes. Um, one, I will not be giving directions on how to get the alpha beta release. This is only a demonstration. If someone leaves it in the comments, um, I will not delete it. So there you have it. Number two is that this, you have to keep in mind, this is alpha beta release. This is pre-alpha beta release, excuse me. Um, what this means in theory is this application shouldn't even be released. If you're in pre-alpha, your application isn't even, not even complete whatsoever. So you have to keep that in mind. There's going to be major bugs and there's going to be major things that just have to be fixed. So, uh, but I'm going to be demonstrating what it is and what 3.0 brings to the Stack application. Now, um, for those of you who do not know, what is Stack? Stack, or Stacks as some may call it, is a Cydia tweak slash modification for your device that allows you to um, make your device more convenient and work more efficiently by bringing you your favorite applications in within milliseconds. Um, now, how does this work? Well, Stacks in version uh, 1.0 and 2.0 was an icon on your dock, or excuse me, a faded icon on your dock that sat in one position of your dock, was not movable, but you can put certain icons on, uh, specific icons on that um, item on your right hand bottom dock and it would stack up meaning you could have more icons on your dock for fast and easy access well what does 3.0 bring and why should you buy it yes it is a paid application you can um, download it for free but come on piracy isn't cool people um, <laughs> those of you who know who uh, know what I'm talking about will know why I laughed anyway um, you should honestly pay this guy. He is the greatest developer I know, and I'm not just saying that. I mean, this guy comes out with, I mean, he comes with, out with amazing, amazing modifications for your device. Not only that, but he has more than three applications available in the App Store, and he's currently coming out with one called Chalk, which is an application in the App Store for, um, that is going to be paid for a Twitter application, and I'm honestly going to say this, I cannot wait for Chalk, guys. So um, just a side note for him, I really think you should pay for this application when it comes out. Again, this is pre-alpha. I cannot even stress how long it's going to take for the real version to come out. As of right now, there is no version of Stack in the um, in Cydia that I know of that is currently legitly downloadable. So um, for that, that's all I'm going to say. So what does 3.0 uh, bring? 3.0 brings an icon on your springboard which is right here stack this is the icon and you have so many customizable options it's insane and I don't think customizable is a word that's how insane this is what you can do is drag icons so we're gonna give, go ahead and give you an example whoops we're gonna click this TV out make it wiggle and we're gonna stick it on stack it's going to give you this icon saying yes you want it you simply let it go press the stack icon down and there you have it. Now, now here you can see two. You can go ahead and press the stack one. It will open up in a UI window listing all of the applications in that window. The cool part about this, and I kind of saying this early, but I have to say it now. There will be a picture right next to my uh, iPhone right now showing you what it looks like when you theme these. These have full customization as far as themes go to uh, fit your needs from your current theme or if you just want to make it look sick in general. So keep, please keep that in mind. Now, what is different between these exactly? Well, as you can see in my dock, I have more than one. I took the liberty of modifying mine. I have currently four and I have three on my dock. So what does this do? You are able to name them what you want. So here I have main for all of my, you know, main essential applications for the built-in iPhone already. My social applications such as Twitter, CNN, and my miscellaneous applications. So we're going to open this and here it comes. It brings it up. It brings all the applications that I love that need access to quick and fast. Now, you can go ahead and click on one. Boom, it opens. This is the expose for the iPhone. 
and you can go ahead and click on another page. Everything works just like you think it would. You can use it on any page. We'll go ahead and open up my essentials. We can um, close it easily. We can open up my social. We can close it easily. Um, let's go ahead and open it, and there you have it. So it's the it's the um, tilted dock, which over time, with many applications stacked on here, will move to the uh, UI view, which is simply this right here. Now you can change this in the settings because, well, there is a settings application to modify modify stacks how you would like it. So it is very user friendly. It um, has a ton of options, so let's scroll down and we will find it. Stack, there it is. And with all of these options, it gives you a little note right here as well as um, you know, as well as that. So you can always show in grid view, which I call UI view. You can warn on remove, which we're definitely going to do that. You can use curve stack or you can use straight. So, and here you go, you can display a single icon image or cascade icons. So, um, well, I just said so like three times in that sentence, but anyway, Stack uh, utilizes your device and makes it so much more convenient. Way it runs so much more efficiently. You can have, uh, you know, for all of you using seven icon, eight icon, and even nine icon dock, this makes um, your dock so much cleaner. It, not to mention, it looks so sick. And it's, you know, it just runs so smooth and flawlessly for me anyway. Now, how do you rename? You can hold the stack and wait for it to wiggle. In the top, uh, you will see a touch here to rename the stack. If you do not touch there to rename the stack, as you saw, the red fade at the status bar will fade away. If you tap it, let's go ahead and tap it, and we will show you what it looks like. <clears throat> so... When you when tapped, it will bring the rename stack. So instead of calling the application stack, you can name it what you want for that specific category. Um, just like me, we're going to click cancel. As you can see here, I have main, social, and miscellaneous. Now, this is how my dock is built. You don't have to necessarily have it in your dock. You can have it right here in your springboard, uh, such as this stack. And you can put it anywhere you want. You can run it anywhere you want, and it makes things so much easier. There's no more... Um, you know, flicking and flicking for the pages because along with stack, as you can see here, I have orbit, which is AKA ex expose for the iPhone, which he also did create. So I can open stack, open orbit, and run any application page. So, I mean, this makes things so much more efficient with both these applications combined. It's never been any easier to run any application that I have seen personally. So, that is a demonstration and a quick overview of what it is and why it's so efficient and what the features are and brings. I know it wasn't full, full on in detail, but I did what I could while I could with this video. I um, hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you have any requests for anything else, please let me know. I will be updating you on when this comes out and anything else the uh, creator Steven has to bring for us. So, have a good one, guys, and hope you enjoyed it. Whoops, wrong one.